The potato was first introduced in North America during the middle of the 17th century. A bushel was sent from the Bahamas as a gift to the governor of Virginia. As it was in Europe, the potato was not readily accepted by most settlers at the time. Potatoes first became widely accepted when they received the aristocratic seal of approval from Thomas Jefferson, who served them for dinner at the White House. As a result of the Irish potato famine in the 1840s, many Irish settlers came to America and the potato gained popularity. The potato became a staple in North American agriculture. It is a vegetable that provides every vital nutrient except calcium and vitamins A and D. The North American climate provided for only one growing season, and therefore most of the year's potatoes had to be stored. Early potato storage was very basic. The heavy timber barn was a popular form of storage for other crops grown at the time, but did not provide adequate storage for potatoes. There were earlier forms of potato barns, but not until the end of the 19th century did the potato barn become the norm for potato storage. The typical potato barn is essentially a heavy timber gamble roof barn set into the ground. The main walls are most commonly composed of stone or masonry to hold back the earth. The roof is then constructed with heavy timber and provides ventilation above the lower level where potatoes are stored. Usually two entrances are found on either side of the barn, one on the floor level and one at the top of the main level walls. This is done to provide an entrance where potatoes can be loaded in and a separate entrance where potatoes can be removed. Our stepmom, we did everything to hate her. She took us down to the edge of Decatur. We saw the lion and the kangaroo take her down to the river where they caught a wild alligator. Sangamon River, it overflowed. It caused a mudslide on the banks of the operator. Civil War skeletons in their graves. They came up clapping in the spirit of the aviator.